my god so this is how it was like it almost was off that thing if it would have hit that if this would have been gone if this would have failed i would have been in huge shit but i uh, thank god it didn't but this is the food cart it's a little bit it needs uh cleaning i took the pans out This is the blood uh, from me, so I gotta wipe that off. What's going on, YouTube? It's Marathon Vending back again with another video, guys. And today, you guys are gonna go with me to check on the hot dog stand. So stay tuned, watch this video, please share, subscribe, and thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm happy, guys. I believe. We are at 284 subscribers, so we need to get to a thousand guys. So um, I'm gonna be pumping out some videos. Hopefully, you enjoy the videos. Hopefully, you learn from the videos. Uh, if you have a friend who is not motivated, pump him these videos, man. It might motivate him to do some things. So. Uh, but furthermore, guys, we about to get into it. Please watch the whole video, and I'm out of here. Peace. So this is the hot dog stand. Uh, you see that it looks like somebody detailed it. Uh, I need to do a little bit more. Um, it's dark in here, so I won't be able to get the whole thing. I got to repair that. Um, I got to repair this as well because if not, this missing, and I'm not about to be a bootleg person and be using pliers. But I do have them. Uh, so yeah, so I gotta fix this and this here I'm gonna do a little bit more to get the rust out of here and I might have to replace this whole thing So hopefully it's not too expensive put some new uh, Burners in here um, but I tried the best that I was able to do and um, I will find some rust re remover to get the rest of this rust out I will be finding some rust remover to get the rest of the rust out. So, uh, yeah, but this, I think I'm going to have to just pick up a whole new uh, burner. Um, but, yeah, guys, I did what, what I was able to do. It smells good. It looks like it's sanitized and ready to go. I just got to do some, some more things. Uh, now, now this, I might have to fix this as well. Uh, it actually should be easy to open. Um, dang, I have a thing here. Hold on, guys. So that's the main thing. And uh, we need to spray this thing on here. So, but that's it, guys. The card is clean. It's sanitized. Uh, I gotta replace this as well. I made a mistake and broke this, I think, when I was scrubbing, so I'm going to have to replace that. Hopefully, it's not too expensive, but uh, guys, the cart smell better, um, so yeah, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share, subscribe, give your boys a thumbs up, oh, and before I go, I'm going to replace the pans as well. I'm not using, I'm not going to use the pans here because they like disgusting. So I'm not going to be using the pan. But uh, yeah, guys, this is it. So I'm out of here. Peace. All right, guys, but as you've seen, I got to make a few replacements, I think. Uh, I'm going to bring somebody here to, well, first, I'm going to look it up online first to connect the propane, to connect the 
cooler and all of that. And if I'm not able to do it, then I'm gonna have to bring somebody on. You can check out my new haircut. It was done by a Latin guy, so he didn't do like as I wanted, but he did a decent job. But <laughs> but anyway, um, if I'm not able to do it, if I'm not able to connect a certain venue, I will be bringing somebody to actually help me um, install the things I need to install to get it inspection ready. And then we're going to be in the street, guys. So it should take me maybe two weeks or so to get the papers done. Um, I have to pay for uh, some other things. I got to get my LLC and all of that. And uh, I'll be ready to go. So uh, you guys just stay tuned. You guys stay tuned. Please share, subscribe. Give your boy a thumbs up. I'm out of here. Um, it was something else I wanted to say, but I, I don't know what it was. Um, dang. Dang, 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 dang. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm going to be doing, um, some more research. Oh, I'm going to switch out the umbrella. Oh, I know why I wanted to make this video, guys, because I decided to go with the Nathan Hot Dogs. In my opinion, I thought... The hot dogs was more flavor, especially when they are uh, boiled hot dogs. So uh, I know the other ones, you might put those bad boys on the grill and they're going to be fire. They're going to be fire. But uh, the Nathan's tasted better boiled in Florida. You cannot have a grill on your car. But if you want to sneak one, you can. But then it's going to be some problems for you. But um. But yeah, so uh, that's it, guys. Um, I I'm going to get my paperwork going. Um, I had to get the hot dog cart to get the paperwork going. So when they are ready to inspect it, um, I have to have everything right. Um, and everything has to work. So hopefully, the things that I have to repair on the machine is not expensive. And uh, hopefully... I'm able to get it um, registered um, because it don't have a number on there. Because it don't have a serial number, I'm gonna have to say that this hot dog cart was built by hand. The hot dog cart was built by hand. Uh, I do. Well, um, it's hot in this. It's hot today, guys. But uh, we'll see how everything pans out, guys. Uh, hopefully, I should be able to be on the street maybe within two, two two weeks or so three three weeks or so it just depends on the inspection and how fast i'm able to get those repairs done that i think i need done so i'm gonna hire somebody off a of thumbtack um a guy who's an all-around repair guy and also guys it is hard to find a, a vending machine repair guy uh i'm gonna be making a a video about the drink machine uh yeah it's not making any money because it needs to be repaired it's something that i don't know about but anyway i'm gonna be making a video about that soon and i'm thinking about changing the channel name because i do martin vending um i showed you guys that you could start up a business a side hustle with a small amount of money so i showed you guys uh a few side hustles that you can start and if you do them the right way you can turn them into a full-time business it's just all about if you got the passion um if you got the passion for certain businesses then you can turn those into a full-time business my, my passion is the vending business so i'm going hard on the vending business um and i got another project i'm doing as well i always wanted a restaurant so since i don't have tons of money i'm gonna get this hot dog stand and who knows what could happen with this hot dog stand it might blow up to where i'm making six figures it, it um it could be a possibility that i have 22 hot dog stands and make other people bosses like who knows what this hot dog stand can actually bring but uh so 
My passion is the vending business, the hot dog business, and the other businesses that I'm doing are just side hustles to basically show that, that I can make money uh, from anything. And also, it, it just, um, you know, trying to get these things consistent to build up c customer base. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm building up customer base so eventually I can bring on somebody who can stay at the laundromat 24 hours. Recently, I had this guy, he reached out to me and he wanted one shirt and some jeans washed, right? And I was just like, are you serious? So I told him that I was able to do it. I charged him $20. He told me, he told me fine. Uh, so I was about a mile away from the laundromat, right? And he beat me there. Since I was not inside the store, I guess he caught an attitude and was like, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sir, I'm down the street. I had to t take another, uh, I had to drop off some, some body else laundry because I do pick up and go so I'm not in the laundromat every day I'm picking up I'm dropping off so I guess he didn't understand that he caught an attitude and he left if he was gonna do all that he could have just um you know he was impatient he wanted his laundry done by 2 p.m. I told him that I could do it I'll be there in one minute and I guess that was not sufficient enough so Eventually, I'm, I'm going to have to have somebody in there who I'm able to pay to, to be at the laundromat. But I got to make money every day from that to do that. So I'm just trying to build up that base and, um, you know, make some things happen. But um, but that's it, guys. I'm going with Nathan Hot Dogs. I'm sorry about the rant. I'm going with Nathan Hot Dogs, and that's going to be that. And um, supposedly, I got a partnership with this strip um, joint, so they don't have any food. They got a vending machine, guys, inside there. Like, what person is going to look at some beautiful bodies and then go to a vending machine and get some snacks like Doritos? Nah, nah, you need some food. So uh, I posed to meet with the owner on Wednesday. Um, and uh, I'm going to pitch him my hot dog uh, business and see what he says. He can say yes or he can say no. But uh, I'm going to be pinching that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be pitching that. And uh, I'm just going to be out here, man. Um, I'm going to be out here and um, we'll see how things go. But you guys will be with me. So stay tuned, man. Watch the journey of how I transform this hot dog cart into money. Um, so... All right, guys, I'm out of here. I got to go take a shower. I'm sweaty, and I smell bleach. I smell like some bleach for some reason. But uh, I'm done with this rant, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.